Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. My name is Matthew and today I'm going to be showing you how to dual boot your MXQ S905 with Librolec. So if you've got one of these boxes and it looks very familiar to this, or very similar even, and you're pretty certain it's got an S905, just double check because some of them actually came with the rock chip processors, the 3229, and this tutorial is no good for you and I'd hate for you to damage your box. So, we're going to need a few things, we're going to need LibreLec, we're going to need an SD card, obviously we're going to need a computer as well, and of course the MXQ Pro Box. So let's move on to the first part of the tutorial. So first things first, let's go and grab a few files. So, we need to go to kzak.librelec.tv forward slash s905 and then we need to click on whichever version you want to actually dual boot from your MXQ Pro. So if it is uh, Kodi 16.1 you want to use, then you need to use the uh, LibreLex 7, just here. And then you need to download a file, which is the latest one, which is the, um, the 23rd of February. And you can download the image.gz just here. Now remember it's an image.gz so you need to unzip that and uh, I'll leave a link in the description for an unzip tool. There's also a different version here which has a temperature sensor disabled. You can use that and try that one if you like. But if you want to use the latest version which is uh, running Kodi 17.1 you'll have to use the 8.0.1c. So again, click on there. Now you'll see at the bottom you'll notice a tar file there. Ignore that because that's to actually update um, LibreLec using a process called Samba. We don't need to touch that if we're just going to be dual booting. So I'd say download this one just here, LibreLec s 95 arm 8.0.image.gz. So download that one. Again, it's a, it's a .gz file, so you need to unzip it. So download that one and go back to your desktop find where the file was so mine's just here and next thing you need to do you need to pop in an SD card into your computer so just before we carry on with this tutorial it is good practice to format your card to FAT32 as shown in this video the second thing you need to do as well is you need to download and install something called SD card format what LibreLex is going to do is going to create two partitions on your SD card and you can't delete those without this tool. So, I'm going to leave the link in the description for you, install it, and it just makes the life a little bit easier, just in case you want to use the SD card for anything else. So, with that in mind, let's move on with you with the guide. The next thing we need to do, we need to go and get something called uh, Win32 Disk Imager. You can go over to the mxqproject.com forward slash files, and you can just go to the bottom of the directory and click on Win32 Disk, and then download and install that just there. You can get this from also sourceforge.net, as you can see, it's readily available pretty much anywhere. Now, download that and install that. So now we've got the SD card inserted in our computer, we've also got our LibreLec file. Make sure, obviously, you unzip that as well, so at the end it just says .image. As you can see, it is an image file, not an image.gz file, as we originally downloaded. Next thing we need to do, we need to load up the newly installed Win32 Disk Imager. And it should just play like this. Now all you need to do is make sure that the device is actually your SD card, so mine's on device H. And the next thing you need to do is click on this folder here, and then select that image file we've just downloaded. So there's mine just there. Next thing we need to do is just click right and then click yes to confirm and this should take a few seconds depending on how fast your SD card is. I'd recommend you use a class 10 SD card. It just means LibreLex is going to run as smooth as possible. Okay, so it's nearly finished. And there we go, so it's now finished. And we can exit out of that. Now, we're not quite finished yet. Um, Unlike the MXQ S5, we've got another, st another step to do before we can actually use this. So we need to go back to KZAC's directory. We need to go back to kzak.librelec.tv forward slash S905. And you'll see something called device trees. 
These are called DTB files. Now these are really important because they actually are unique to your device. So if I click into here, we we'll shall see MXQ Pro 4K.DTB file. So if you've got the MXQ Pro, like I showed you at the start of the video, that's probably the DTB file you're going to need. So proceed and download that. Now this is the other interesting part. There's a ton of different files here. And these could work on your box. Um, but it's really hard for me to determine whether it's going to work or not. It is a case of just trying them and figuring out which one works and which ones don't. So the good reference point here is um, to use to use the names really. So Kzak set them up so it, it, they're kind of generic sort of set up for certain hardware. So as you can see this will be for a 2 gigabyte of RAM box with 1 gigabyte um, Ethernet connection. Um, this one here is obviously for the WeTech Hub. And again you know try and match it up it might be a case of trying them all it might be it might be a case of trying them all until you find but the good thing about it is it's simply a case of dragging and dropping the file so download the DTP file are you think going to work for me it's this one because I know this one works for my box so download that and then the next thing you need to do is you need to grab that file so this is the file here but then we need to rename that file don't just drag and drop this just yet. So we need to rename this. So click on rename. What you need to type is, all you need to type is dtb.img. So it's a dtb.image file. And then just click yes to confirm. And now it's dtb file. So the next thing you need to do, make sure your SD card's still inserted. Remember we've just burnt LibreLack onto it. Open that SD card up. And you'll see a bunch of files. Now you'll probably see there's already a DTB file in there. I don't know which one that's originally for. So I'm just going to delete that. Just delete the DTB file that's already in there. And all you need to do is drag and drop your file in. That's all you need to do. So like I said before, it might be a case of trying all these files out. Just these files here. It might be a case of that. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to Kazak's uh, LibreLack thread where you'll be able to ask him further if you get stuck or anything like that or there's more information from people over there on the actual thread and they might have just more experience at this than me this is actually the first time we've actually dealt with sort of doing this with the S905 device so we're still learning ourselves so anyway just try these DTP files you might eventually find one that actually works for you and just repeat, rinse and repeat, download it Rename the file to dtb.image and just drag and drop, just remembering to delete the DTP file that you've used previously. So once you've done that, everything should look like that. And all you need to do is move over to the TV now. We're going to grab the MXQ Pro and we're going to show you how to do the initial boot for LibreLeg. So grab your MXQ Pro or whichever S905 TV box you've got. Insert the SD card into the SD card tray. Pop in your HDMI cable. Now before we apply the power, grab yourself something thin and sharp. Now, I don't know where on your box, if you don't have an MXQ Pro, I'm not sure where your reset button will be. It might be on the back somewhere, or it might be in one of these uh, ports somewhere, but on the MXQ Pro, it's just inside the AV port, just like the MXQ original one with the S8 fire processor. Now if you put your thin and sharp object in there, you'll be able to hear a click or feel a click. You might be able to hear that on camera. Hold that in. And then apply power. Just like that. Now to go over that again, insert your SD card. Make sure your HDMI cable is plugged in and ensure that the correct TV channel is selected. Find your AV port or reset button or where that may be on your, on your box. Hold that in and then apply power. And what should happen on screen? The initial boot should start.
Now if you've got the wrong DGP file inserted onto your SD card, you need to go out and grab a, new, a different one and try a different DGP file as shown in the tutorial. It could be any number of them, unfortunately, but obviously if you've got uh, this box for example has got the um, 10 over 100 ethernet connection it's got and it's got the S905 processor and it's got 1 gig of RAM then obviously the chances are the MXQ Pro DGB file will work for you but it could be in for one it, it just depends on the hardware itself um, so yeah you'll have to maybe change a few DGB files until you find the right one So yeah, that is it. That's all you gotta do is change DTB files around. Um, the problem is with Wi-Fi and stuff like that, it might not work. Um, I'm not really sure. I can't really tell you whether it's gonna work or not. It's just a case of trying different things. There's lots of files uh, for you to change around and stuff like that. But hopefully this video has given you the um, skill set to actually do that and be comfortable. Now I don't recommend you actually try and install this to internal memory until you're 100% confident by it, 100% working on your hardware. There's uh, obviously the MXQ Pro S905, but there's also loads of different variations, just like the previous MXQ S805 um, versions of the actual motherboard. So it is just a case of trying it and seeing what works for you. And um, you know, let me know how you get on in the comments. Um, come over to the Facebook group. We've got a big community over there. We're coming tons of really knowledgeable people that can help you. We've also got a brand new forum, please come register over there, just the mxqproject.com forward slash forum. And um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a like. If you dislike it, give me a dislike. It's absolutely fine, and we shall see you in the next one.